Hello friends, Alexi speaking. Today is the last day of autumn and soon we will be enjoying snowflakes, Christmas trees and all that holiday spirit. As for now, I've got some interesting market updates. So let's see, what is new in power semiconductors industry? Toshiba Corporation has demonstrated the world's first successful fabrication of high-performance circuits with analog digital integration on a single-chip driver integrated circuit for controlling next-generation power semiconductors. The developed IC detects the voltage and current status of power semiconductors at ultra-high speed of 2 microseconds or less, and the control reduces noise generated by power semiconductors by up to 51%. Theoretical calculations also confirm that power loss when driving the motor can be reduced by 25% compared with equivalent noise reduction by conventional methods. In the event of a short circuit or the malfunction, the power semiconductor can be immediately protected to prevent damage to it. This is a technology that maximizes the performance of next-generation power semiconductors. It will contribute to the realization of a carbon-neutral society by assisting in miniaturization, high efficiency and high reliability of the motor drive circuits and DC-AC converters used in electric vehicles, industrial equipment, smart power grids and so on. CAN Systems, the global leader in gallium nitride power semiconductors, announced a strategic partnership with ASC Technologies subsidiary Universal Scientific Industrial to co-develop gallium nitrate power modules for the electric vehicles market. As the electric vehicle shifts from using legacy silicon power transistors to the increased performance of gallium nitrate, power modules are also transitioning to meet the demands of low heat loss and superior voltage control in the power conversion process. Gallium nitrate power modules enable higher efficiency, increased EV range and increased EV performance. Air Test Systems, a worldwide supplier of semiconductor test and reliability qualification equipment, has joined the Power American Institute, a public-private research initiative dedicated to accelerating the adoption of high-performing next-generation silicon carbide and gallium nitride power electronics. The collaboration will result in bringing next-generation silicon carbide and gallium nitride power electronics to markets faster, reducing cost and risk factors associated with new-generation technologies. An organization that brings together the semiconductor manufacturers and the companies that use semiconductor power electronics in their products, Power American Institute is well placed as an information hub. With the backing of the U.S. Department of Energy and the engagement of top researchers, knowledge and processes can be provided to educate the American workforce and provide more innovative product designs. Taiwan plays a key role in the global semiconductor supply chain and is becoming increasingly important. How to strengthen the existing competitive edge in the arena is the goal of joint efforts of industry, government and academia. Recently, a consensus has emerged in all recommendations made to the government, that is, talents are the most critical but the scarcest resource in Taiwan among all the elements. Wind Semiconductors and National Yan Min Chao Town University NYCU, held on November 18 the opening ceremony and entered into a cooperation agreement for establishment of the NYCU Win Joint Technology Innovation Center in the NYCU Hinshu campus. Jochen Hanebeck will take over as the new Chief Executive Officer of Infineon Technologies on April 1, 2022. This was decided by the Supervisory Board. Hanebeck was reappointed for five years and his contract runs until March 31, 2027. He has been a member of the Management Board and Chief Operations Officer since 2016. He succeeds Dr. Reinhard Ploss, who has led the company as CEO since 2012. Power Electronics is playing an increasingly important role in various markets such as automotive, industrial and consumer. It is an enabling technology for a wide range of new functions that enhance vehicle and smart grid performance, safety and functionality. Power devices will improve system performance in energy-saving applications as well as in all high-voltage industrial applications. Power Up Expo is a virtual conference and exhibition that aims to envision the future of power electronics. Power Up works in the same way as a live exhibition and conference does. It has fairgrounds, an exhibition hall and a conference area. During the technical conference, it will have topic-specific tracks with keynotes, panel discussions, technical presentations and tutorials covering major technical trends, market requirements, new applications, etc. Parallel to the conference, there will be an exhibition featuring virtual booths from leading power electronics companies. 
a live chat tool enables visitors to directly contact the booth personnel. Innovations in power electronics are accelerating the electrification of transport systems. Wideband gap devices, and specifically silicon carbide, is poised to step in and be the workhorse, a role once filled by IGBTs. This is due to its improved efficiency and size reduction benefits. In this webinar, Microchip will explore various transport applications of silicon carbide diodes, MOSFETs, and how to optimize their performance with Microchip's digital gate drivers. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching my weekly Power Semiconductors market updates. As usual, more news coming next week. Meanwhile, go to Marketing Psych website for more information or join me in social media. Keep in touch and see you in winter.